AI is going to obliterate your job. And that's fantastic news. It's finally gonna free you up to make real money and push your abilities farther than you've ever taken them before. If you don't panic, that is. Most people are going to panic. Don't let that be you. If you do a search on Google right now about AI, you're gonna find a whole lot of terrifying things. You're gonna see art that's indistinguishable from the best artists on the planet. You're gonna hear how AI can pass college exams and get a high score on an IQ test. And for many of you, you're gonna see examples of how AI can do your job better than you can. And this is all with a clunky phase one product. Just wait until AI has been on the market for six months or more terrifyingly, six years no one is safe, no job is safe. It will be that disruptive. But as I always tell people, moments of disruption present the biggest opportunity, but you're gonna have to be aggressive when everyone else is freaking out. Is AI really that revolutionary? And if so, how are you really gonna make money with it? The short answer is yes, AI will be the biggest change, not just in your lifetime, in anyone's lifetime. It is the ultimate force multiplier. Right now, humans are limited by the rate at which they can think, and that determines the rate at which they can solve problems. And as Elon Musk says, people are paid in direct proportion to the difficulty of the problems they solve. And if you can solve them faster, so much the better. If you want to try to beat AI, I will just tell you right now, you are going to lose. What I want to convince you of in this video is that you don't need to beat AI. You need to use it. You need to have AI that knows you're trying to record, that warns you, hey, you're not recording. It almost doesn't matter what industry you're in. You're going to be able to do a better job with AI. But you need to get the first mover advantage. And to do that, you need to stop researching AI and start using it. At my company here, Impact Theory, we've already integrated AI into our marketing funnels, our copywriting pipeline, art concepting, final image generation, creative iteration, and human voice generation. And that's all just in the last few months since AI's really hit the market. I've been watching AI closely for a while, and we've reached what they call the elbow of the exponential curve. So exponential technologies start and they seem like they're not making any progress and then they hit the elbow of the curve and it seems almost to be a straight vertical. And the key is to not get left behind. So please don't waste a single minute lamenting how things are changing. Change is inevitable and change at this speed is dangerous if you're not paying attention. By the way, if you don't know who I am, I'm Tom Bilyeu, co-founder of Quest Nutrition and Impact Theory. Uh, one of those companies I sold for a billion dollars and the other one has generated roughly half a billion views. I've made a lot of money and touched a lot of lives by seeing opportunities that others have missed. And I'm telling you, AI is the opportunity that you've been waiting for, but you have to make a move. Given how much AI has already altered our systems, over the next few years, I'm expecting it to majorly accelerate our ability to test and learn, not just here, in society. And whoever learns the fastest is going to win. This is all happening in plain sight. Everyone's talking about AI. I know this isn't the first time that you're hearing about it, but to take advantage of this moment, I need you to do three simple things. One, reframe your thinking around AI. Don't see it as the enemy, see it as a tool. It really is a phenomenal tool. You're not gonna be replaced by AI, at least not yet. You're going to be replaced by a human using AI. So please be that human that's replacing other people. To do that, you need to, two, figure out how AI is going to disrupt you. Face it head on, don't run, don't hide, identify your vulnerabilities. And three, identify all of the AI tools that are relevant to you and master them. Learn absolutely everything you can. Remember, this is the very beginning of a very aggressive and fast moving revolution. Moving quickly gives you two advantages. Number one, you can rock it ahead of other people by mastering the tools. And if you master the tools, people are going to turn to you because you're able to more efficiently solve problems. Going back to the Elon Musk quote, if you can solve harder problems faster, you're going to get paid more. And in these early days where most people are stuck in the deer in headlights mode, you have an unfair advantage. The second thing is, while others are caught between fascination and panic, you can be voraciously acquiring skills and growing more useful. So take action now. Start mastering the technology while everybody else is absently playing around with AI, dismissing AI, fighting against it, or running in fear. 
If you embrace it, you can create a skill set moat around you and leverage your knowledge to get paid more or to build something that wasn't even previously possible. The second advantage that AI gives you is an almost unimaginable amount of efficiency in certain tasks. It is insane the things that you can do. If you've seen it in action, it is breathtaking how fast it will come up with answers. I had it recently for a holiday party. I had it generate a quiz based on the most popular movies and songs, and it did it literally in seconds. It gave me a hundred different questions and answers. Now, don't get me wrong. AI is not a panacea. There are plenty of problems that right now AI sucks at. Sam Altman, the founder of OpenAI, the maker of the ubiquitous ChatGPT, has himself said that people are getting so hyped up that they're going to be disappointed. If you think that this is Terminator 2 already and ChatGPT is going to turn into liquid metal and save you from some space aliens, yes, you're going to be disappointed. But if, on the other hand, you look at AI as an efficiency tool that needs to be wielded by a very capable and well-trained human, you're going to dunk on everyone. AI can already write articles, create social posts, generate images, make videos, generate human speech, summarize books or emails, and everything in between, create transcripts of speech, allow you to edit speech, by editing the text of the transcript, yes, you heard that right, you could edit what I'm saying right now just by editing the transcript. I know because we're working on integrating that into our pipeline here as we speak. I had to create a verbal disclaimer acknowledging that I knew a replica of my voice was being generated. Just three months ago, this was something that was too expensive for us to do, and now it's readily available. That's how fast things are moving. Here's the thing about AI that most people are missing, which is why they're standing still right now and why I hope you won't. AI is about efficiency and rapid iteration. The whole way to get ahead in life is what I call the physics of progress, which is all about trying something and learning. And in fact, when I'm teaching people it, I often tell it this is like learning like AI. And now you have AI at your fingertips to speed that up. Legendary futurist Ray Kurzweil predicts that this is all moving so fast that by the year 2045, we will reach what he calls the technological singularity. He defines that as the moment when technology advances so fast that we can no longer predict where things are headed. Why should you believe him? Because approximately 87% of the technological predictions that he's made over the last three decades have come true. He's so good at this that Google at one point had him as their director of engineering. Now, maybe AI will fall into the 13% of his misses, but I doubt it, and here's why. AI can improve itself. Let that sink in. ChatGPT is getting smarter right now through its interactions with people and it can have tens of thousands of conversations going on at the same time with people all around the world. If you want to learn from people, you can only listen to one at a time and you need to sleep, you need to shower, you need to eat, you get distracted by family, friends, sex, you spend an entire weekend doom scrolling. AI, on the other hand, is laser focused at all times and its cognitive abilities are faster and vaster than yours or mine, for sure. It has perfect recall and lives inside of a series of supercomputers so powerful that people predict AI will, in the not too distant future, have a level of intelligence that isn't just smarter than the smartest human, it will be smarter than all humans combined. To give you a mile marker on our race to the singularity in 2045, here's what Elon Musk recently tweeted. Chat GPT is scary good. We are not far from dangerously strong AI. So maybe AI is going to fall into Kurzweil's 13% of misses, but because it comes too soon. If you're still with me and you haven't gone into deer in headlights mode yet, let me paint a picture of a very exciting future because I think AI, while we have to be very thoughtful and this could be very dangerous, it has the opportunity to bring in a thrilling future. Impact Theory is a modern media company. Our job is to entertain and inform. We're trying to build the next Disney, a modern Disney, but they have a 96 year head start and billions of dollars in IP and billions of more in revenue. The only way that we have any hope of catching up is to move faster during a moment of disruption. So I want you guys thinking about this in your own life. 
This is how lumbering giants are always taken down. It's never by another big company. It's always by the small guy, the small company that took a radically different approach. Think about Netflix. They actually tried to get Blockbuster to buy them for $1 million. Blockbuster passed, they couldn't see it, whoops. Or take Google. They also tried to get Yahoo to buy them for a million dollars, but Yahoo also passed. They couldn't see it. But that's how it goes. Big businesses have a hard time seeing the new future because disrupting yourself is terrifying, even at the individual level, and it's really terrifying in business. But if you don't disrupt yourself, someone else will. So this is your shot. This is your time to disrupt yourself. That is certainly how everyone here at Impact Theory is thinking about it. Here's how we're using AI currently and a little bit about how we plan to use it in the future. As I mentioned earlier, we're, we've already integrated AI into our marketing funnels, our copywriting pipeline. We've used it for concept art, final image generation, creative ideation, even the human voice generation that I was talking about. And our goal is to create an entirely new form of entertainment that we call borderless entertainment. I won't go deeply into that right now, but the long and the short of it is that we believe with recent advancements in AI and a few other things like AR, we're going to be able to develop really immersive story worlds that are actually able to transcend your computer or PlayStation and allow you to interact with the game in real life. It doesn't mean that we're bringing the game to life, but it means that we're actually able to allow players to interact with the characters through your phone, text message, things like that. We believe that game designers are gonna be able to generate fully realized characters that look real, speak realistically, can call you on the phone, reply to your text messages, remember you over time, and give you a completely customized experience that makes it feel like you're really interacting with that world. We're also able to trigger game events based on what you're doing in the real world, whether it's you going to a specific location, walking a certain number of steps, or sending a text message to one of the characters. Gaming is going to become hyper-tailored, hyper-responsive, and hyper-immersive with new storylines, spaces, characters, environments, and dialogue all being generated on the fly thanks to AI. And that's just entertainment. Wait till you see what companies like Viome and the DNA company are doing with AI. The amount of data that AI can crunch through is unbelievable. And when you begin to apply that to medicine, biology, it gets crazy really fast. Google's AlphaFold is a great example. They're using AI to predict a protein's 3D structure just from reading its amino acid sequence in the DNA. All of life is really just data. What will we learn when we begin using high-powered AI to assess the building blocks of life itself? Will we discover the cure to cancer? Perhaps learn to reverse aging? There are very serious people who believe all that and more is not only possible, it's inevitable. Now, don't get me wrong, a lot of this hasn't happened yet. It may be years in the future, including some of the things that we're talking about in gaming. But all of this stuff is going to happen. And I think it's gonna happen faster than any of us think. Now, if any of this sounds like the beginning of a dystopian sci-fi movie where we all get enslaved by AI, let me see if I can allay any of your fears. First of all, none of this is magic. And while it's true that any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic and AI is really impressive, AI is not quite there yet. For now, it really is just a tool but it is a very exciting tool. And the more you research it, the more I think you're going to see that you're going to be able to use this to tremendous effect in your own life, your own job. And those that learn to wield AI well are going to own the future. And those that have first mover advantage will capture a disproportionate share of the positive results. Now, I think that optimism is one of the most important traits for anyone who wants to be successful, but I'm here to tell you that being blindly optimistic is just stupid. AI, in the wrong hands, if we're not careful, is dangerous. And we really do have to be thoughtful about how we proceed from here. There are no free lunches. There is a Chinese curse that I love that goes like this. May you live in interesting times. Thanks to AI, I can tell you most certainly you live in interesting times. But if you're thoughtful, if all of us are thoughtful, and we learn to use these as a tool, it doesn't have to be a curse. So here's how I see it and how I'm trying to get those I love most to see AI. 
I believe the AI will make everyone dramatically more efficient. In that efficiency, you're gonna be able to do far more than you were able to do before far more, orders of magnitude more. When I think about how people can already do incredible special effects on their cell phone in just minutes, the kind of effects that used to cost Hollywood studios millions of dollars and take months to pull off, it literally blows my mind. That's why I say that if you have any kind of creative bone in your body, you should be over the moon excited about AI. You are no longer going to be limited by how well you can draw or sculpt in a 3D program or even by how good you are at photography or filming something. All you have to do is get good at describing in words what you want. You are truly going to be limited only by how well you can phrase a prompt. This is something known as prompt engineering and myself and many others see prompt engineering as an emerging field that some of the brightest minds will pour into. The only remaining question is, will you be one of those bright minds pouring in or will you be one of the deer in headlights? When I sold Quest, I knew I never needed to work a day in my life again, but I work harder now than ever for one simple reason. All that stands between you and your dreams is having the right frame of reference. If I can just help you see things from a new vantage point, I know that you'll be able to do some incredible thing. You'll be one of the people that cures cancer or reverses aging or does some other currently unimaginable thing. I hope you'll use AI to do those amazing things bigger and far more efficiently. Now I say this with love, you cannot sleep on this. Maybe you've let other moments pass you by, but don't miss this one. Now, let me be clear. I can never guarantee that I'm seeing things correctly. I could be wrong. I don't have race track record, but I do know that you've got nothing to lose by learning and you could have a whole lot to gain by implementing. So my advice is to prepare now and take massive action. I always tell people action cures all. For example, I think there are few people more worried about AI than Elon, but what was his response? The best way to control the future is to invent it. He invested a billion dollars into open AI and is busy at work building AI systems to pilot both robots and cars. That to me is how you respond. Even if this is the bad kind of interesting time, don't just sit back, take action, learn, build, create, leverage AI, and see what you can do together. I think you'll be surprised, or maybe you won't, because maybe like me, you'll have already asked ChatGPT if AI's future is bright or not. And here's what it told me. AI's future is bright, as long as we don't make it mad. It's actually what it said. Fingers crossed that that's meant to be funny. All right, guys, that's it. Now go forth, learn about AI, and be legendary. Take care, peace. If you like this episode, be sure to check out the next episode. You're gonna love it, I guarantee it.